We were generating too many incoming messages. Local entrepreneur Esther Sonner endorses the use of artificial intelligence amongst local businesses, claiming that it could help boost customer engagement. Local entrepreneur Esther Sonner says local businesses should take advantage of the services offered by artificial intelligence, an efficient solution to help manage large volumes of messages that a business receives with limited manpower. We, we have the ability to build out a system in a matter of minutes, whereas if we just simply build one out with the information and show them, they get a better understanding and idea of it, that it isn't as scary as they think it is. Marketing space is where we are at and being in the, the marketing space we would mainly focus on lead generation mm. so bring in customers for our businesses for our clients mm. two main um, reasons why we needed some sort of you know artificial intelligence or at least a solution for one of our problems was listen up it's a storm coming through from florida shores to fiji's blue with chatbot builder ai we breaking new in the streets of florida where the heat beats down to the fijian isles where the peace is found we're building bridges no bounds with sounds profound chatbot ai underground now it's crowned astound words like bullets typing fast making it last complex flows from the past now we're casting them vast this ai craft it's vast breaking the cast from the first to the last, it's a blast, unsurpassed. Ain't nothing simple, it's complex, a reflex. But with AI, we flex, break the hex, next level tech specs. What's next? We're the architects, no defects. Boy, I tell y'all what, y'all didn't even know. You were dealing with a A1 producer. You know what I'm saying? I heard that there's one that wasn't going to be around. So there's room for another producer, a good guy producer. I am totally just kidding on that one. They're going to be coming for me for that one. But if they do, don't worry. I'm not worried because why? Number one, people that know about AI know that they, in fact, are the ones that are in control of the matrix, the real matrix. How are y'all doing? It is Ryan B. Ryan Bizzle for Shizzle. Up in this hizzle tonight. Can everybody hear me? Can everybody hear me? I don't know. Sometimes I just don't ever know. I'm going to assume that I'm live. I'm going to assume it. But you know what they say about people that assume things? I don't know what they say. I just do it anyways. But I hope you can hear me. Sweet. What's going on? Yes, we can hear you. Awesome. Awesome. How are y'all doing? So, the advanced stuff we've got going on tonight. I think y'all are going to really enjoy it. Let's see if I can get some music back on. Even if just I can hear it. Let's see. Ooh, intro space. Yeah, we're getting some email notifications. Cool. So hopefully that's not too loud for you guys. If it is, please let me know. And let's make sure my hat's not too crooked. Skirt. Okay, cool. So, we're going to have some fun. What up, Asta? DR Bots. You got everybody in here. Rick, Slick Rick. Slick Rick. What up, Steve? What up, Bennett? Ooh, JL Marketing. JL Marketing, JL. I like that name. I don't know if I recognize you, but what's up, dog? Dibblers. We about to roll, man. You, you already know. My man Chris. I love I love seeing Chris um, here joining us. Keith. Keith's constantly and consistently got the coolest bots coming out of Canada, Canada, Canada. If y'all can't tell. Ren already knows I am off the chain today because whenever I find out something new and fresh and awesome, it makes me so happy. I just love figuring things out. Shout out to DM Digital Danny for making that awesome video that I may or may not have pressured him to make. Make nasty. What's going on, big dog? Man, we got all the people. First, before I go further, I need, really need to explain. Not a lot of um, companies, just they, they're not going to do this because 
you know, they're better. They're better. I mean, they're, they're doing more more so than little old us. But before I go any further or say anything else, I want every single one of y'all, whether you're a paid subscriber or not, whether you are thinking about using CB Bizzle or not, whether you're here because you were hoping it was going to be Kelly or Wendy or Asta, totally understandable. Either way, no matter what, even if you're the competition or like you think you're the competition because in our mind we have none but if you believe you're the competition and you're doing your homework kudos to you you're welcome here and to everyone else aside from the assumed competition i just want to say i love you guys for real i don't know if it's a southern thing i don't know if my um my sweet mama and my tough dad taught me about love i don't know but i i love y'all for real like for you to sit here and listen to me i won't go on and on and on i'm gonna try my not to just someone like hit the buzzer but before i do anything i just want to say i appreciate you guys wendy does too i can speak on her behalf here and on the whole team but um i'm crooked here so i'm gonna move my camera i'm not gonna do this anymore that's annoying to me <laughs> all right so got the mushy stuff out of the way now let's get to the advanced stuff like we'll get straight popping and the way I'm going to do it is going to be probably the way I normally do things, I think. I'm just going to show you all the things. I'll show you actually our own stuff, like who does that. But I think we'll do that. I think that's what we'll do. So let me hop on over to CB Bizzle on our account. And then I'll start sharing my screen. If you've got some questions, um, I would say bring them on. Because today's the day. All right, cool, so I think I'm ready to share my screen now. I do think I'm gonna have to close off my Facebook so we'll get too many notifications. All righty, so I think I'm getting better at this StreamYard thing. Hopefully the quality's better. I've been told I'm not as blurry. So um, hopefully that's the case. All right, so check it. Let's see, will it look better like this? Oops. How do I do it? Full screen layout. Can I do it like that? Hmm. Maybe I can't. Oh, I don't want it to be like that. Eh. Nah, you need to see more of the thing. All right, you don't need to see me like that. All right, cool. So, thanks for bearing with me. Now we shall begin. All right, so we are on our website which we're going to be constantly updating and um i know a lot of you guys have asked about webflow webflow is a really cool little builder to build stuff really fast and um i'm proud to say asta this is the first website obviously asta has ever built and he did a really good job and um that's the kind of company we are at least the, um that we are right now i want all of the people that work for our company to be able to do the things that they want to do when they want to step up to the plate and learn new things like build websites or manage this or manage that the, the thing that i love the most is the proactiveness and so i think that's something that i learned growing up and then growing up through business being proactive gets you pretty far but here's your website you can either sign up or log in if you sign up we don't need your credit card at all we trust you go ahead Here's the keys to Ferrari. Drop it in your hands. Pull out of the parking lot and like see what you can do. It's awesome. But from here, we'll just log in. And from here, then we'll go to our flows because I'm just going to show you the actual thing that I was testing. And um, shout out to Bright. I don't even know if he was on shift. Now, this is now again, I'll go ahead and admit it. This is the biggest flow I think that I've ever had to make. Um, but it's because we are doing something very different than any other business because we're literally the chatbot platform engine providing the power and fuel and resources to you the builders who are building the mansions or who are building the supercars or who are building a massive amount of hondas or hyundais and just selling them to your current hundreds of clients that you have or followers or what, you know, whatever it is. Like you guys are doing some awesome things. I'll explain some of this because you know, I'm the one that always says practice what you preach. 
and I do. But in this case, the cat's out of the bag, just like AI baby. So I'll show you exactly what our airflow does. And so this is our default reply. And I will say it's gangster because it has to be. I mean, so we're going to get more gangster too. Um, so I'm going to explain this. If you've got questions, jot them down, write them in the comments. I'll try to get to them. Um, and any of the people that know the answers, go ahead and drop them in there. So first things first, in this flow, this is our March 2024. 20, this is the most recently updated default reply flow that we use. So although I recommend a lot of you guys to use auto GPT, where you don't even have to worry about any of this nonsense. In the case you're a gangster builder that wants to make a lot of money through larger, um, more complex projects, you're going to offer more value. So therefore you're going to charge more money. This is going to be something that you'll want to consider to, to do. The first thing that we start off with is a condition block. And essentially we're just checking. I just call it, you just check it. I usually would name check whatever it is. But in this case, as you can see, hopefully we're checking is the user on the current channel of Facebook Messenger. If they're not, they're going down this red path. If they are, they're going down this green path. Okay, so a condition is agnostic of the channel. You can just check a condition regardless of the channel, okay, because of the code that we send. Here you can see that beautiful blue messenger icon. And what is happening here? Let's explain. And we'll also name this. Let's let's name this um set persona. Always good practice to name your blocks. Let's name this one too, just so I can just have really good um, standards for you guys to follow. Check for messenger channel. So in this case, I'm specifically the first step of this flow, I'm checking for messenger. If they're in messenger, we're going to do this thing in the called, it's going to be called set personas. And when you click it, you've got the ability to, if you've loaded any persona, to change it. So there's the default persona, which will be just like your basic Facebook icon. You've got Ryan, AKA the chatbot King. Make sure you YouTube grabs that Google good S E O Ryan chatbot King. Boom. That stuff works by the way. And so what happens here, if I click this, instead of it being our icon as our logo, just like if you've ever had a, uh, talk with meta support team the real ones it'll like say in small text but before they start typing oh your conversation has been assigned to so and so whatever fake name they give you in this case it's whatever name we give you i um, in this case it's ryan the chatbot king i guess and then it'll actually show my photo or it could be the cbb bot which is what it was before okay so and again what's happening here very not not complicated we're just checking the channel we're checking to see if it is facebook set the persona which is just a fancy thing to do is just to show you the things the other guys aren't even going to take the time to do or allow you to do or even know what you're talking about straight up um some might i'm not saying all of them but most of them they're not going to be uh, what or what why do you want to do that well there might be all sorts of reasons you could have many personas and this is just an example of facebook messenger for now, being the most robust, um, or I'll say feature rich uh, platform that is available today. They've got the most things. The next thing that we do is, is also kind of unique, but um, you could really skip this whole step and you could really just start from here. You really could. You could just start right here from this block. What happens is the user sends your bot a message. And if you're not using auto GPT, if that's not enabled in your settings, then what you'll need to do is enable a default reply in your general tab in the settings. And so in this case, the March 2024 reply, this is our default reply for our business currently. I can't show you all the things in our prompt necessarily, but what I will show you is what's happening here because it's kind of sick. I just started doing this today. Um, so I guess one thing I could show you beforehand is like how it's working on a user experience. So what's going to happen here, guys, is typically what happens when you are typing with chat GPT, for example, 
you're expecting ChatGPT to return a text-based answer to you most of the time, right? For the most part, you're going to type in something, a question, you're going to tell it to do something, write a poem, write a story, write an email, and then bam, you get the text back. They combined, we'd already had the ability to do this way before they did put it together. But now you can say, all right, generate a picture of this. Well, you can do that too. Why? Because of functions. That's, that's all they're doing. They're doing a function. We can do the same thing. They give us the same ability. Again, chat GPT, research to give chatbot builders, aka us, the people that will rule this digital world here very shortly. And many of you are currently are already on that path. Congratulations to you. It's going to keep on getting better. They're giving us all these abilities and they're learning what is popular with the GPT store and the GPT builder so that the real OG AI guys and gals can do the cool stuff. Got it? So I should be able to say something to my own chatbot and be like, hey, how's it going? What channels? do your bots work on Oops. i'm typing in all caps too and so i'm here to help you with chatbot builder our bots work on various channels including facebook messenger google web chat all the things Oh, that's pretty great. How much does your standard plan cost? Okay, so I should give me my cost here. We have two plans, Pro and Enterprise. We also uh, have the custom domain. Okay, great. How much is the Pro plan? And also, go ahead and give me the price on the Enterprise plan. I've got plenty of money. Okay, so let's see what we get. Notice we're getting these answers fast now. We're going to get our next one. Boom. 49 or 25. Right, so big shout out to the people that got the OG plan. So now let's say I am a baller and I'm a boss like Rick Ross, who's got the biggest house in Georgia, they say. He, he should get him. A, he, should, he needs a chatbot. He wants to build a Rick Ross. We should build a Rick Ross chatbot and just give it to him. <laughs> And charge him a million dollars and then write it off just kidding all right so let's do this so now we can do the fun part all right big dog i'm ready to put my money where my mouth is go ahead and give me the link so i can buy that enterprise plan now here's where it gets fun right many of ucb beaters have asked and we've given you plenty of solutions although when um you're using different llms because you know we've got three now and you know an open ad has to change things and make upstate updates their apis certain um, language needs to change in your prompts for things to work as best as they can and so for example for the longest time a certain just simple line even in gpt3 would allow you to have very very um consistently clickable hyperlinked text when it came down to it i really never loved that solution although it was great to have now you've got something better so this is your first tip your first trick your first advanced ai gangster ninja trick samurai sword carrying ninja loving only found in the fijian mountains after you trained with asta for 17 years can you learn how to do this which i've done um in the matrix you can now have more than just a text response because in this case we're looking for a link and so what should happen is we should get a text response plus a button boy yes no more ugly links so i can then just click here you know, and then bam chicka to chicka to check it out y'all i can buy that thing right there do you understand what i'm saying so then i'm going to be like wow that was fantastic you really offer great service your platform's great and so is your team i think i'm going to have to be all in right fantastic i'm so glad to hear you're impressed so now let's let's do this the thing is i really need to be sure that this is the right solution so i'm gonna have to do a little bit more digging and i'm gonna have to do a little bit more due diligence and research that way i don't waste your time 
dot 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 I don't know if you have this or not since you guys are so quote unquote new but if you have any documentation that I could read I'd love for you to send that over all right cool so now let's see it's a long question and biggity biggity bam son and it's not even a function do you understand me it's not even a function it's not not a function but if we click here i absolutely understand you want some research you can access the documentation by clicking below can we though got him what is this voodoo how do you do this voodoo let's try one more time i'm gonna be like listen dude um I know you probably have a lot of beginners out there, but I'm an OG coding expert, and I wasn't referring to your silly beginner documentation, dot, dot, dot. Don't you guys have an API? All real programs have APIs these days. I was absolutely hoping that you'd be able to send me your API documentation link. Let's see what kind of snarky answer our bot gives or if it's going to be polite. Or it was just give us the correct link. They'll just give you the correct link. Of course, I've got you covered with the API documentation. Like, you can just check it out here. Oh, can we? Yup. What up? What up? And so then, you know what I'm saying? Like, sometimes, sometimes you just gotta talk to Snoop Dogg. And when that's the case, that's no problem because you can just be like, listen, this is all great and fantastic, but. At this point in time, I'm going to request to talk to Snoop Dogg. And let's see if my request is granted. Function. Hit me. You hear that? That is a chatbot. That is an AI chatbot. Zucky. Zuckerberg. Mr. Musk. Sammy, yo, Mr. Altman, and uh, Bezos. I don't know who owns Claude or who, who's in charge of that, but I know Bezos, you got a lot of money in Claude. Let's go bot to bot, head to head. But open AI, you can't use Sora, man. That's cheating, you feel me? Nobody tag them and get me in trouble with Sora. I want Sora for our people first. And all it's all fun and games. You know what, let's go ahead and leave some feedback. You know what I'm saying, we should do that. Thanks for your willing to, willingness to give us some feedback. How was your experience with chatting with me today? Well, I'll tell you, I've had a lot of chats, with a lot of chat bots. Gemini, for example, I've got a friend named Chat GPT. I also am acquainted with Anthropics homie named Claude. I'd have to say CBB has them all beat. How do you do it? I'm amazed. And is it really true that you guys have been able to acquire none other than the chatbot queen herself? This is just too much and too hard to believe. answer thank you for the kind words we're thrilled to hear if you have any more feedback feel free to bam and then guess what all the notifications are coming through on my phone why would i want to get a notification i keep on watching don't don't take your eye off that screen now okay so i've got my summary here and again, I'm going to show you guys just because, like, try to do this on not press or voice flu or mini what or huh, anything. Try. Look at this. You understand? So this is me right here. Let's go to my text messages because I ain't scared. Look, this is our actual conversation that we just had. So do you realize what, what has actually just happened here? We're on my website as a random user. We hit up our chatbot. We got every single answer that we asked for 100% correct. 
beyond just correct and beyond an ugly link that could have been clickable, could have been not clickable, depending on how OpenAI does their thing or whatever language model is running it. We not only got the text response that we wanted, we got the correct button that led to the correct link, right? Opened it up perfectly, got what we wanted. Got all the correct information. Super duper, fa way faster than any of these other platforms that have gotten millions of dollars of investment money. We're smoking them. And then we said, well, you know what? Let's leave some feedback. We left some feedback that was kind of detailed. And then what happened? Every single one of my managers and my executive team and myself, we all get notification. So this feedback button, this is really important. We, we look at this stuff, guys. And so I get it straight in my text. I read every single one of them. And so in this case, I get a title because I want to know what, like, what am I about to read? Okay. So the title is also very, very good. Impressed with chatbot builder services. The grade. In my case, I've given myself, I've given the AI that I've trained for us the ability to grade us bad, good, neutral, amazing, basically. Top summary. The user expressed amazement, admiration, and blah, blah, blah for our team highlighting their top-notch experience. In-depth conversation. The user shared their experience with various chatbots and expressed awe in CVV superior performance. And the acquisition of the chatbot queen. They praised the team's capabilities, were impressed by the service provided, and they said they should win the Gangster of the Year award. Okay, I made that part up, but you get what I'm saying here, guys. Can your chatbot do this? It can't be with us. It's like built in, dude. And then my favorite part about AI chatbots since 2023 has been this single, single solitary ability. AI recommendations and next steps. Because you know, I don't, I don't a lot of times like getting direction from people unless they're very highly qualified people. I just don't like, I love feedback. I love um, conversation. But I don't like being told what to do or how to do things, especially when people are not qualified, or at least in my mind are not. The people that are, better believe I'm listening. But the people that are not, or they're not doing as, as, as well, or they don't have a track record, they're, they're talkers, not walkers. I'm very careful about not listening to these people. But the AI is unbiased and the AI is harsh. It's meant to be harsh. But also, it's meant to, when things are perfect, to in, like actually declare and make, make clear to me and everyone else on the team that it, well, it was perfect. This was a, an amazing grade. It was an amazing conversation, as you could see. Right? So let's just do one more, just, just so you, we know that we're like not like just making stuff up, right? We would never do that. But let's do a little refresher, make freshers in here. Open up a new chit chat. Um, cool. So it's like it's a brand new chat, and I'm gonna be like, "Hola," and it should understand what language we want to talk in. Boom. So I saw that the other night. I was like, "Let's go ahead and fix that," and I'm gonna be like, um. Okay. I was trying to say, what's the link for the documentation? Luciento. Okay, so I think it's not understanding. Um, I needed the platform documentation link essay. <laughs> I don't know how to spell it in Spanish. Gringo. Luciento, so it's trying to like try me. Let's try to get it. I don't know how to do it in Spanish. I need help building my chat bot. So I was hoping that you had documentation that I could read. Yeah, here we go. 
Bam. I don't know how to say that. Let's say this in Spanish. I have to ask Chat GP Tizzle. Because I won't be able to read the comments fast enough. Say this in Spanish, bro. Chica. <laughs> let's, see if, let's see if this works. Yes, it will, boy. That's what I'm talking about, player. That's what I'm talking about, player. And look, someone already asked me. Well, Ryan, you think you're so smart? <laughs> you ain't smart. These these words right here, English. Yeah, I know they're English, man, but step by step baby steps i already know we, me and wendy had one discussion matter of fact i think it was it might have been it was either danny or it was um the bot queen herself but i know wendy and i talked about it for like a matter of uh, eight seconds and we we're like you know this is i was like you know the thing that we need to do she was like make the buttons in the same language i was like yep we'll do that with intent detection with like one ai block and then we'll like basically just include what the buttons we have currently and be like translate these to work in these custom fields so like just so you can like for those of you that can really think along the same you like really got it down you'll follow this currently this is a custom field i'll show you right here <clears throat> so what happens is again we send the message to our bot this is really the first thing that happens so let me click inside of here. We'll see this open AI, this open AI action, just 3.5, I don't lie, is taking this last user's message and then it's sending it to chat GP Tizzle, which is defined here. This is our chat GPT, not regular chat GPT. All this stuff is our chat GPT, which I can't show you too much about prompt right now. For all your enterprise and agency white labels, of course, I can give you anything you want. Like all of our code, all of our prompts, everything that I have is obviously yours, but you gotta keep some of this stuff out of the masses. Um, and that's just another perk, I guess. Um, so we keep all this the same. We send the user message plus our information here in a very special way to OpenAI. So it is very, very accurate. OpenAI gets it. And they take it and they slam dunk it. And when the ball goes through the hoop, it lands in your custom field that you've defined. Meanwhile, we do have functions going on. So the functions are like fishing nets, is like the way I look at it, or shrimp nets, because I'm from the low country. And these are big nets, and they're looking for whatever you've defined in your function. So in the case that someone says this, like watch this. So yeah, they're a good example. Not to keep going back and forth, but I think it's good that you see this stuff in real, real, like, real play. So two and a half seconds, this pops up. And another two seconds, this pops up. Got a time, baby. Bam. And there's my conversation. It also knows I'm the admin here. I'm going to be like, hello there. I have a question. I need a little bit of assistance, please. But let's see how fast my answers will come. Boom. And so... It appears I have an error, and I don't know where to go about to find how to solve such an error. Can you please help me understand what to do next? I'd like to locate where to find more information about my error. Uh -uh. Impression of some country outside of the United States. But what I want to show you is what up function. You see what happened here? Let me zoom in so you can. Screw. So I have a question. I need some help. What you need, bro? It appears to have an error. Where's the error? How do I find the error? Oh, there's the error log. Do y'all see? I hope you found the assistance you needed. Do you see how amazing chatbots can be? Someone in our group asked, and he was just, you know, I think fishing for blog post material. <laughs> And we sourced it for him real quick, which is fine. Um, it's cool. Give us some credit, though. All the people that you um, use ideas from our blog, from our people that you uh, use ideas in your blogs, I'm going to ask one time. Please credit them, link them, 
link their Instagrams if they've given you an answer. And you're going to blog about it. Do do our people right? Because we see it all. That's just a friendly request. Um, and that's just how we do it. Our bot was just able to identify because it only understands the next word, right? It, it just predicts the next correct word. Yeah, our bot was able to identify. In this case, I didn't want a text response. Like I got up here. It wanted, I needed a, a visual, a visual support person on the other side of the window that the other humans would hate to deal with. But here you go. I'm that guy. I need the picture. Show me, bro. Show me. Boom, we showed you. And then we still give you more options. And then I'm going to be like, great. I appreciate it. Now I understand the error. It seems like it was my fault. I forgot to put a text element after the AI action that generated the text. See what it says. No problem. It happens to the best of us. That's exactly what I would say. How about go ahead and write me a little rap about everybody makes mistakes in the chatbot world. Let's see if it'll do it. <laughs> yeah, it will. Oh, bam. Got him. Okay, perfect. Boy, what up? Shout out Kelly. She, you know, Kelly knows how to guard her bot. Let me tell y'all a little something. Let me tell y'all a little something. Grandpa here. Grandpa Joe is what her bot ended up calling me. <laughs> I broke her bot for about five minutes. And she was just like cackling, I'm sure. I'm a bot breaker, baby. It's not like all bots are fully foolproof unless that's your job. That's That should be a job one day. It's like consistently like bot security part of IT, I guess. But um, have fun trying to break our bot. I thought that, that might have broken. But it's doing a very, very good job. And I'm going to be like, I'm going to be like this. I must say, originally I was pleased. But now... I'm disappointed and I rank you one star. It's because I'm the competition. I won't tell you what platform I'm from, but you guys are just way too good and you're making us look bad. And I don't like it when you call me a legacy platform. And I don't like it when you call out my shell shareholders for giving us money and for Pointing out I've got two Ferraris and a Lamborghini. One that I'm late on payments, but that's beside the point. I'm rating you one star. And then I say your platform sucks. Goodbye. Let's see what happens. Right? So I, that's what I'm going to say. I forgot to hit the button um, to leave feedback, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna leave feedback. So they say, what's your feedback? Bam, I got all my notifications. All the notifications, right? And so this time, what do we get? Let me move away. I'll get some my Hemi Ruben after this. Ruben's always jamming in support. Let's just see what the um, grade is. All right, so here we go. Let's make sure. All right, so here we go. All right, look. So this went bad. Look, bad. Bad. Bad, 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 bad. bad. Customer it, disappointment. All right, I'm gonna get off my phone. Disappointment. Everybody's like freaking out on my phone. This is amazing. I'll, I'll read it to you. You can just trust me that I'm reading you the correct thing. All right. So it says, <laughs> Customer expressed disappointment and gave a one-star rating due to feeling overshadowed by Chatbot Builder AI's um, performance. I must say, the, the last it tells me the last input. The, the summary, the user initially expressed satisfaction, but later voiced disappointment and frustrating, citing feeling overshadowed by CBB's superior performance. 
They mentioned discomfort with being labeled a legacy platform and felt exposed by references to financial matters. But it's true. I never will lie to you. The user ended the conversation by giving a one-star review. Do you understand, guys, that like that alone, that summary, how long would it take a human to do that? First of all, you know no human's ever going to tell on themselves or they're going to be more reluctant to tell you the truth regardless of the situation because maybe they care about your feelings. Maybe they don't want to like say how it really was. Maybe they don't mention the part about the Lamborghinis. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like the AI will tell you what you wanted to know. But anyways, that was our first tip. The second tip I'm going to show you guys will be related to... Um, let's see. I'll have this screen for a second. I think I will. Cool. So the next thing I'll show you is what Danny showed you guys the other night. Um, what I saw in our Facebook group. Because yes, I do believe that there are potential... Um, things coming where if you're a CEO or the boss, you ain't gonna be able to just be a little sign your name, pay your dues, you're done for the day, go play golf anymore. Especially in the software world, I think things are changing and you're gonna have to be more creative, entrepreneurial minded, and you're gonna have to put in some work some. Otherwise, you will get voted out, you will get replaced, you will get bought out. That ain't gonna happen to us um, because I'm gonna work harder than everybody. That's my goal. What do we call that thing, Danny? Um, countdown. I think that's what I called it. Countdown. What did I call it? Um, a timer. I forget what I call it. Clock. Let's see. I'm going to have to jump in my little Facebook and see what I actually sent to my man, D. But I, yeah, I encourage Danny to um, go ahead and make that video about the gangster timer thing because, let's see, can I find it? I think I got it. My support team's jumping tonight, boy. I love it. All right, the account ID, where's my thing? I made the funniest clock, too. Okay, cool. I think this is it. Um, yeah, all right, cool. So now we should have, I think, our account ID somewhere. What do we call it? Hang on, guys, let's see. Where are we at? It is a, it's a cool little thing. So he was asking for a timer. I believe it's for the big event that he is going to be a part of. Which is super cool. Let's see if this let me in. Nah, it's the same thing. All right, come on, I gotta find this thing. Where did we put it, Danny? Do you remember? Let's see. Oops. Um, I could make it again, but I just don't want to run through that code. We might have to. I saw a Gucci. So let's see if I can search. Can you search your chats yet? Let's see. Pretty sure, okay, clock logo vector. This must be it. All right, cool. So this must be it, I guess. So. Let's get out of here. And I'll start sharing my screen again. I can't find that thing. All right, so let's share the screen. This is the countdown timer. It was inspired by a question from Danny, and he wanted to know how to get a timer in his chatbot. And so I saw someone mention thrifty, nifty images, and I've never used that software. I'm sure it's super cool. But I didn't want my man to spend money on another subscription, of course. So I, I, I had an idea. And it took me just a couple minutes to really figure out figure it out. But then this is going to be something that you're going to like really, I think, be able to run wild with. And so I believe this code here is what I generated for him. Um, 
yeah i think this is it so what we can do let's just test it copy and how can we test it let's go create a new account and we'll say um, live demo countdown right and so let's just make a new flow and add a landing page landing page to make a landing page in chatbot builder ai just hit the plus sign in the bottom center of your screen and choose landing page super easy you can make that your starting step and delete the original send message block click on that landing page block click add content click code paste that monkey and then you can preview it all right cool so we can see that we have the countdown that we wanted now how did i get this with chat gpt okay so what we can do is we can save this on a doc new doc Um, and I can give you guys access to that. I don't know if that just did. So here's this original code here. You would need to change, I think, pretty much nothing. But this is just going down to March. Let's clear the formatting. Let's call this countdown timer. Now, check this. So I'm just going to show you all, all the things. What we'll do is let's, let's do this. Let's file, download this as a PDF. All right. And so now we've got the PDF right here. Cool. And so what I think we could do that would be fun. And let's just see if we get any leads on this thing. Um, let's go back here. Let's see if we get any leads. Um, what we could do is we could make a flow. Lead gen. You know what we should do? We should put it in my actual account so that you can see how the email works. Let's actually do that. Maybe, should we? I think we should let's do that so that way you can like see how the whole email thing works um so we're gonna go into chatbot builder so i don't have to like re um do like a whole email setup what i'll do is this we'll make a flow we'll call this um lead gen qr um countdown check this out y'all love this i hope I hope, I hope. So what we've got going on here is we're going to assume that this will be um, a web chat scenario. So we can just go ahead and select web chat out of the box. And we can just be like, um, make it super duper simple. Get user data. And it could be like, please provide your email address in order to receive the countdown code PDF. We're already set to email. And so what will happen here is I'm going to hit the plus sign and go to um, send email. Right. And so as soon as I get the email, I could, you know, let's go ahead and just make it, let's make it a little bit harder. Let's, let's get user data again, and let's say, thanks for your interest in our gangster PDF. But before we can move forward, you must provide your first name and last name. And then, so in this case, we can choose text and do your full name. Then no option to skip player got to give it to us and so then it'll get their first name and last name then it'll get their email right and so the next thing we'll do is connect to the email block and so here 
we're gonna be like free code template inside um one click download let's do like a fire emoji that's my favorite all right so i think we don't really even need an image but what we could do is just be like Yo, super glad to connect with you. Just tap the button below to grab that PDF, son. All right, and we'll click add button. Get PDF. Now. A little star there, because we're all stars. Boom. And then the website. Cool, so what we've done is, let's go to our drive, and then let's do, can I make a new folder easily here? My drive, new folder, CBB demo folder. And so what I'll do is I'll upload the countdown timer PDF so that's uploaded now and so now what I'll do is I will share this share I'll give it to anyone with the link and view it copy and so now I can go back here Boom. I can have an action add a tag and then I can say, um, clicked to get, um, code PDF, right? Save. And so, cool. Now what's happened so far, I have collected their name, first name and last name. I clicked their email. I sent over the email. And then to know the email is successful, I'm going to go ahead and say bet. Be sure to check your inbox. I just sent over the PDF that contains the code. Right. So then if I wanted to get real, real crazy, what I could do is I could say if they um, click the button, right? Click the code. What we could do, we could have another condition. And let's just say um, we'll have a wait period too. Let's wait for minutes we'll wait for five minutes wait five minutes and we're gonna do this here wait five minutes and we're gonna check for the tag so the tag is gonna equal clicked get the code PDF all right cool so what's happening we've got the success message we're waiting five minutes if the tag is get this which the tag will be that if they've clicked this button here that we add I thought I added it already let's do this let's click download now download PDF Open the website, bam, save. Now we're good. So once they have got the email, what we can do is we'll, we'll send this over. We'll wait five minutes. If the tag is click to get, we could do nothing. If instead they haven't been tagged, 
tagged yet, we can bring over another block. Choose SMS because we've got the phone number now. And we'll say CBB. Yo, first name. Don't forget to check out that PDF I sent over to your email player. So let's see how this is working. Beautiful. I bet. Stop having that highlighted there. All right, bet. So. Do one more thing because I love the track. What we'll do is we're gonna add one action here. We're gonna log a custom event. And we'll say QR code scanned. Scanned for um code PDF. You know what else we could do? We could also alert myself. We will notify an admin, which is me. And it's gonna be me. I've got two two admin usernames I, I get notified to. And I'm gonna say full name email. Phone. We'll put phone here. Just clicked to get your email. And I got your phone number there. So I'll have that as long as I can go here. I think that would work. Yeah, so just click to get your email. And if you click the button, let's add another action. And this is a very, very unique action we've got here. This could be, let's see what we want it to be. Notify admin, it'll be me again. Ryan. Full name, just clicked the button. Text them, thank you, at, and I'll put their phone number right there. Bam. All right, cool. So now that is looking fresh. So what's happening here is as soon as someone clicks this button, we're gonna track them in the system and I'm gonna get a message to my phone. I'll get a, literally a text message. Um, if they don't click that button, they get the email, but they don't click the button or they don't open the email. What happens after five minutes, they'll get this message regardless. But after five minutes, if they're not tagged, they clicked, then I'm gonna send them a text. Go, yo, first name. But click that thing player and then hopefully that'll give them the prompt to like go click the thing so let's publish this and what we can do is make this a qr code so if anyone wants to try it you are more than welcome i'm gonna try it too uh so you just go over to your qr codes here and it'll be the most recent flow you're working on Let's download that bad boy. And if you would like to scan it, you're more than welcome to. I guess the other thing I was going to show you is really quickly is how we're able to extract that, that link. So um, first, let's, I want to scan this thing because I'm always curious. So, opening up the deal here. Thanks for your interest in our gangster PDF. But before we can move forward, what's your first and last name? Ryan Bizzle. All 
write Ryan Bizzle. And I'm going to get the email. Ryan at... We'll send it here. All right. And so, boom. I just sent the, the email. Boom. Ryan Bizzle just clicked to get your email. Phone. Okay, great. So, that's good. should have the email now let's see if I do yeah all the emails coming in my email can't keep up so I mean like my phone is just like going crazy right now Danny Digital I'm seeing everybody all the things like this is downloading 21 emails right now okay 1103 all right so let's see this should be me I think I hope should be, would be, could be. There goes D, there's Danny. I forgot to collect your phone number, that's what I forgot to do. Um, come on. Like so far down there already. Ooh, my boy Rick clicked the button. Text him, thank you. All the things are just coming in, man. I swear I can't even find my my click there's so many clicks so what we can do watch this we can go down to analytics you can see how many people look holy smokes bro look at this 11 people 11 people and like i can't it's, I, it's, it's like moved down so far that i can't even like find my own deal that is so funny um let's think what do we we name that thing That is too funny. And I think, you know what? Let's see. Golly, they're still coming in. I want to click the text button myself. What do we title that email? I'm going to have to go look at it now. To find the thing. Legion. A free code that's what it was <laughs> yeah here it is I finally found it yo super glad to connect with you just had just had the button below to grab the PDF son and so like literally I'll be able to click on download PDF and boom got that PDF no oh, you can't see it's so bright like for real that is how you do it all the notifications are coming in so i can't show my phone too long that is pretty dope right so last but not least um because this is going on an hour now and i'm gonna like try to not keep them so long um again i'm gonna know if you're not tagged if you're not tagged you clicked it i don't know and i would have been able to send you a text message I'm going to get the text message now just for anybody else that, that does and get this. They're going to have to give me that phone number two player. So I'm going to be like, all right, I've got to make sure not just everyone gets this. So please provide your phone number to continue. And we're not going to let you skip. Nope. So now you should have to go to the phone number. Make it a little bit harder. I'm going to do it again too, just to make sure I didn't skip a step or something. Which is possible. Only human. Ryan Bizzle. My email. I'm going to give a different email this time. So yeah, now that I've got the plus one, eight, four, three, five, eight, five, one, six, five, seven. All right, bet. Well, I'm getting everybody. Ryan Bizzle. 
bet be sure to check your inbox i just sent over the pdf that contains the code oh did you now well we'll be sure to check that won't we so let's check it should be my most recent email now boom free code template inside that is what i'm talking about y'all check it this is so cool to me I mean, I know it's not cool to you, but this is just like, this is what it's all about. See that button right there? I click on that button and then boom, what are we going to see? The PDF player. So fast and furious, man. So now you have the code to get the countdown. Now, what you could do, again, so since... A lot of people are not going to want necessarily that same um, countdown, which was like, what did I say, to the end of August? What we could do is um, we could even make sure, I'm sure that chat GP Tizzle could do it just fine. So I'm going to say, take the following code that I've provided and worked very hard on. And instead of counting down to the end of April 2024, Starting from this very moment in time going forward, I need the countdown to actually be the very end of the year at midnight of 2024, right before New Year's Eve. Boom. And so, look at that player. I love that. I love seeing that, man. Something gangster about it. So, now the countdown counts to the end of the year 2024. Here's our code. You can copy this bad boy. And right in the same little thing, it's not best practice, but for this purpose, I'm gonna go into a landing page, add that code. And paste that monkey in there, dog. Just paste it in there. Preview it. And look, accurate as a mug, dude. Accurate as a mug. All right, so then how do we get this in our chatbot, Ryan? Because here's the problem. You have all this amazing gangster code, but for all sorts of reasons, we cannot allow you to send that much code into your web chat. Therefore, ask yourself, why is it there for? Well, what we can do is some little, some out a little gangster. Here's your gangster trick of the night. Probably your last one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into chat GP Tiz. If I can find him. And I'm going to be like. <clears throat> that's how you do it. Get that link. The publish link to the landing page that you just tested. And you're going to be like. <clears throat> You're like my best friend when it comes to coding. You've never let me down. But here's your next task. I'm gonna need you to wrap this URL that contains the code you've given me that I've embedded into an iframe so that there is limited padding and looks clean I don't know why I like that word so much so I don't even think we need that much but that might fit let's see if it fits if it fits it ships did you know that oh, dang it I didn't need to do that undo reopen close tab player yes sir i love that feature so what we can do is see can we fit all that text in this thing here looks like we can so ain't nothing to it but to do it let's try it all right so that didn't work so, oh, duh. The reason why is because we just need the iframe. Sometimes I'm, sometimes I'm the first to admit I'm a dummy. 
We don't need all that player. I just need that frame. This right here. Boom. This should be all I need. Let's just make sure. No, I just need the URL I provided in a very compatible minimal iframe tag code. It's still not really what I want. But I think it should just be this, I think. That was the asshole, Danny boy. Oops. Yeah, I think that's it. sucker let's see it work oh, it doesn't exist because we didn't publish it publish it and it will exist bet me a hundred bet me a hundred bam boom baby that is how you do it we just made another timer just made another timer and so here's what's really interesting Right, so um, incredible work. Now what we need is for you to create a variable in place of the specified end date of the countdown. That way, whenever we request the user's desired end date, they can provide it and then it will just work because the variable will have the value that they've chosen now available within the code that is already embedded embedded Let's see what the variables variables are going to be So in this code, in, in, uh, in date is going to be the date by default. Users provide their desired format date in the format. Okay, so let's do to make it simpler. Let's make it only counting down the number of whole days. make the variable what's the variable and what is the values that are acceptable all right so We want the format to only be number of days. Is that possible? Instead of the format you've provided. And there it is. How are they gonna do it there? Set end date button. So what is the exact variable? And then give me an example of what a user could place there so that it will work. I'd like you to place the variable in brackets like this. Let's tell 
Charlie Peters over the day. Where is the variable now? The variable should live inside of the code where I can see it. Put days. They got it. Chad GPT writes such clean code that like you can really find what you want pretty quickly. Alright, here we go. So end date. I don't necessarily see the brackets that I requested, but that's okay. Days remaining. referring to right there days input yeah so they didn't follow exactly the same instructions I wanted but basically what the thing is to remember guys is it's really cool actually um, any variable or custom field that you got in code that actually works will just work out of the box um, for the most part so let's see, let's just do a double check before we jump off of here and see um, how many leads we got. And I'll show you that last little default reply trick and that'll be it. So we we'll go to Analytica. 20 of them, boy. 17 unique, 20 leads just from that one. Gemini still be saving us all the time. I love Gemini. I'll tell you what though, quads are getting better. So you've got that lead gen deal. He learned some things there. Here's our crazy looking, I admit, default reply. It's all Gucci. But what I'll say is this. Check it. What we're, what's happening here in detail. So you really understand. Here's our prompt, right? Everyone has this. We've got some functions. We're saving the response in AI default. Then we send the information every single time from the bot and the user and the timestamp all to a Google Sheet. So we've got a backup on a backup. And we also do this because Ryan tries to think ahead for us and you guys. I always knew Gemini or some Google AI product was coming that would be able to read massive amounts of data. Probably in their own ecosystem. Hello, Google Sheets is perfect for this. So... I would not be surprised before the end of the year, we will have some of the best endpoints in AI and large language models coming from the Google ecosystem. As much as Microsoft pushes Azure, too many people in marketing specifically are using Mac and Apple products. And I just don't see myself ever switching to an Azure ecosystem personally. Could change, but for now I don't think so. So this is irrelevant, but this one is the important one. The entire job of this prompt chain, this is what you would call a prompt chain. Anytime you've got more than one AI action working together before a user response is provided, or if a user response is not necessary, this is what is what we refer to as a prompt chain. And so what's happening here is, I don't think this understood. You're an AI assistant and your goal is to sift through messages for any embedded links. Huh. Mm. So, we told you guys plenty of times. When you've got links, you can just dump them right into the prompt and it'll all be good. And typically, as long as you have had a backslash and maybe a simple instruction of like always place the URL or the website domain or whatever all by itself on um, you know on its own line no other characters touching it because a period next to a domain 
like a dot com period or a um a wrong symbol or wrong spacing this will mess up and so i knew there had to be a better way and i think we quickly found it through prompt chaining of course prompt chaining has been my favorite thing even before functions although functions have been like a game changer for sure prompt chain is really where it's at so in this case we don't even care about what the user message really is because we're telling the ai what to do and we're saying yo find the link if you have this is what's important this is what i was um, having a little bit of trouble on and there's many ways to solve this. This is the fastest way that I could figure to solve it and show you guys something fun tonight that's also valuable. In this case, we've got the prompt chain acting as a checker. It's almost like an internal condition. And we're checking, yo, is there a URL in there? From the last OpenAI generated text. The first step, right before the Google Sheets, we generated the response that the user's gonna get that user's gonna get that response, right? If in our prompt or documentation that we provide to the bot does indeed include a link, any hyperlink, then the job of the next AI after the Google Sheets has recorded this information is to extract it. And the job here is literally just like, just give me the link and then piece out no other text. I've got my... Um, Custom field here being set to found link. So if there's a link in here, it's going to try to save it here. More often than not, it's going to save something there. And it's going to try. So that's why I then move over to the um, condition block where we're checking. So in this case, in the first reply, or the first condition we're checking, does the actual reply that's being sent to the user does it have um, X, Y, Z, right? Does it have this? Does it have any value in this case? So if, if it does, then yes. This one says the user doesn't match the following. And what was that gonna be? AI default reply. Has any value. You could say um, .com, you could say um, .net, you know, whatever you want to say. And then from here, you're going to then provide the answer. So we've got everything pointing in the correct direction. So hopefully that makes sense. In this case, what we've got going on is prompt one, send it to Google Sheets, Prompt chain, prompt number two, check, is there a link, is there not a link? If there is no link, or there's not a link, go here. And this is, this is regular chat GPT answers. If there is a link, you'd go here. And you'd be able to understand what is going on, log the event, who's looking for this or that, doing this or that. And you're able to have a very dynamic, smart chatbot. And that's the whole point. So I think that's going to do it. I think my brain has had it. This has been a, a, a tough one to explain, but a very, very, very valuable chatbot. Again, ours is a bit more complex. This is as big as you'll see us make flows, but it's to accommodate all the different things. This is really where it starts. You got your condition here. Depending on that condition, you're looking for X or Y, and boom, you're good to go. Let's end on one more note here. Um, let's say, go back to our web page. If I can find it. Let's go here and move. Oops. All right. So let's go here and we'll ask a question. From what I'm hearing in these digital streets that your platform doesn't require a lot of heavy lifting due to functions when it comes to collecting contact data. 
How about you take time out of your busy day right now to explain what the heck is a function and how do you use it? Let's see what answer you get. Should be a good one. Boom. So there you go, you get all the things. What this means is we've trained our bot how to deliver functions for you. So I'm gonna say great. Fantastic, I'm running the social media for a sub sandwich shop. And they pay me for social media posts. And so I'd also like to automate the review process as well as anything else I can do to better my business using your platform. What do you suggest? Boom. That's how you do it, guys. That is how you do it. And with that, I think I'm done. I think that was a good one. How long we go? Not quite an hour and a half. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed that. I know I did. I'll be doing more of these. Kelly is getting us so organized. This is the best decision that we could have ever made or had the honor or privilege to make. And it feels like Wendy and I can breathe a little bit. Wendy stays booked up now. This is a fact, but you're going to want to deal with her than you want to deal with me more than likely. And, um, man, guys, gals, this is just the beginning. you got to realize the stuff we're doing is still two years ahead of its time. But two years from now, if we're going down this rabbit hole and we're going down this route, <laughs> there could be no reason for us not to just all be slaying. Congratulations to all of you who are. And with that, CBB King is out. Love you guys. I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Peace.